time you have a big meeting coming up or an important presentation to give, you develop an unsightly cold sore on your lip. You wake up with a small cluster of tiny, harmless looking, white blisters, which quickly grows painful conditions. Many people get confused about whether they have a cold sore or a canker sore. But that confusion is easily cleared up. Cold sores, also called fever blisters, are caused by the herpes simplex virus type 1, which is usually acquired in childhood through contact with infected saliva. Type 1 virus is believed to lie dormant in certain nerve cells of the body until it is activated by stress, anxiety, a cold or excessive exposure to the sun. It causes sores on your external lip or near your mouth or nose that last anywhere from 7 to 14 days. Herpes simplex virus type 2, on the other hand, is transmitted through sexual contact and causes sores and ulcers in the genital area. Although many people use the terms cold sore and canker sore interchangeably, they're different. Unlike cold sores, canker sores are bacterial infections inside the mouth that are characterized by small, round, white areas surrounded by a sharp halo of red. And while cold sores are highly contagious, canker sores are not. You can't cure cold sores and they like to keep coming back, usually to the scene of a previous visit. Fortunately, you don't have to suffer in silence with cold sores. We'll discuss simple home remedies to ease the discomfort of cold sores and accelerate the healing process. This information is solely for informational purposes. The publication of this information does not constitute the practice of medicine, and this information does not replace the advice of your physician or other health care provider. Before undertaking any course of treatment, the viewer must seek the advice of their physician or other health care provider. Covering a cold sore with petroleum jelly will speed healing and help protect it from secondary infection with bacteria. Putting a local anesthetic ointment containing benzocaine on the cold sore can also help numb the pain temporarily. However, attempting to camouflage a cold sore with makeup often aggravates the problem, as the chemicals in makeup can make the sore worse. And don't share your lipstick or makeup, either. Get a new toothbrush after the blister has formed and again after the attack has cleared up toothbrushes can harbor the virus. Consult your health care provider if you have frequent or severe cold sores. In some cases, an antiviral medication called acyclovir can be prescribed. Applying sunscreen to your lips may help prevent sun-induced recurrences of cold sores. Look for a sunscreen designed especially for the lips that has an SPF of 15 or higher. Or, choose a lipstick that contains sunscreen. Don't squeeze, pinch or pick a cold sore. These actions can cause bacterial infection. Also, because cold sores are extremely contagious, avoid kissing and sharing cups, towels or other such items. Wash your hands frequently, especially after touching the cold sore and take care not to touch your eyes or genitals immediately after touching the sore. It's a good idea to have hand sanitizer with you in case you accidentally scratch your cold sore and there's no wash basin handy. Reach for aspirin, acetaminophen, ibuprofen or other over-the-counter painkillers when cold sores are painful. cold sores not making itself a huge lip ache, it's snoozing in the nerves below your skin, just waiting for a reason to wake up. Look what exactly it is. Fever. Infection, colds and flu. Ultraviolet radiation, such as sunburn. Stress. Fatigue. 
changes in the immune system trauma food allergies menstruation dental work To help avoid any of these to trigger, practice stress-busting techniques like exercise, meditation, yoga or reading. Avoid acidic and salty foods like potato chips or citrus fruits as they can further irritate cold sores and add to the pain. Studies show that glycerizic acid, an ingredient in licorice, stops the cold sore virus cells dead in their tracks so try chewing a licorice whip. Just be sure it's made from real licorice, as most licorice candy in the United States today is flavored with anise. If the ingredient list reads licorice mass, the product contains real licorice. You could try buying some licorice powder and sprinkling it on the sore, or mix up a cream with a pinch of licorice powder and a smidgen of pure vegetable shortening, then apply to the sore. Remember, that licorice's medicinal effects can cause serious side effects if used in large amounts over long periods of time. If you ice a cold sore when it first arrives, you may cut down on the amount of time it hangs around. Ice packs and cold compresses will provide some temporary relief. A tasty popsicle will feel good, too, but skip the juice bars. Their acid content may irritate that major re-irritation even more. Super cold drinks, such as slushes or smoothies, are another tasty way to provide comfort. Soak a cotton ball in milk and apply it to the sore to relieve pain. Better yet, if you feel the telltale tingling before the cold sore surfaces, go straight to the cold milk. It can help speed the healing right from the beginning. Cold sores may be triggered by stress. During stressful times, sucking on zinc lozenges can boost the immune system. 